Hi everyone. Today I'd like to talk about a recent Criterion release. This is Hotel du Nord. It is directed by Marcel Carnet, made in 1938 at the height of French poetic realism, which uh, Marcel Car Carnet was most closely associated with. And uh, this is a story about a hotel and th there was a real life Hotel du Nord that is actually still there in Paris according to the supplements. At least the facade is still there, and uh, and its inhabitants. Uh, and it's really a story of two relationships. One is uh, uh, a pimp, uh, played by Louis Jovet, uh, his prostitute girlfriend, uh, played by Arletti. Um, they have. Uh, they seem to have a very. Con uh, 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 contentious relationship and then they you see them getting along uh, but it, it is it is degenerating and it and that is accelerated when Louis Jovet comes across this um, Arabella and the other relationship with Jean-Pierre Ormont they have arrived for one night at the Hotel du Nord Jovet and um, Arletti are, are residents there and they, they have a suicide pact. We were never really told what exactly it's about, uh, but they are, life is, uh, is, is too much for them to bear. They need to find some escape from the, uh, from the uh, kind of romantic despair of, their, of, of the world they're living in. And, and Louis Jovet becomes quite enchanted with this uh, young woman and her innocence and uh, her, her youth, her liveliness. He, he, he is uh, he is sort of uh, sick of himself. He wants to. He too wants to escape into another life. Um, so the film. So these two relationships they evolve and then they uh, they intersect in in, in uh, really interesting ways. But the operative word of Hotel Noir is atmosphere, and that is uh, is. Uh, uh, most uh, this, uh, one of the most famous lines in French cinema comes in uh, in Hotel du Nord when Louis Jovet, who is is just tired of of, uh, of the character uh, played by Arletti, he he tells her, "I need a change of atmosphere. <laughs> the atmosphere in question is you." <laughs> and of course, Arletti is quite <laughs> indignant at this, and and she. And she responds, atmosphere, atmosphere. <laughs> Do I look like someone's atmosphere? <laughs> and the atmosphere, of course, of poetic realism, uh, the realism being the street scenes. Now, of course, we're not on the actual street scene in Paris. We're, we're on a set. The poetry and the, and the kind of a romantic longing of the, of the characters and in the, in the dialogue. Um, it's a world of ordinary people. Uh, we we get we get a chance to see them. Uh, we get a chance to uh, get a glimpse of their inner life. Um, there's other relationships shown, including the hotel owner and his wife, who who uh, emblemize kindness, and they they uh, they they don't discriminate. They all the residents eat together in a in a common table, and uh, they create kind of a family. Uh, a, a, a kind of a uh, artificial family where people do seem to have fun with each other. It's a good contrast to these two uh, relationships that are, are have gone off off the rails. Um, and you have to mention, as far as atmosphere, Alexander Troner, who is the set designer uh, for Hotel du Nord and many of Marcel Carnet's uh, movies. Uh, he meticulously recreated the actual location. There's a canal, bridges going over the canal. Uh, his interiors are always great. Um, and he would work with Carnet into the 40s before Billy Wilder seduced uh, uh, Troner to come to the U.S. to design his films. <laughs> he was even more spectacular in, in uh, his design of Billy Wilder's films. Um, so... Uh, <clears throat> And there is a beautiful uh, Bastille Day dance uh, celebrating the uh, Bastille holiday. Um, and in one of the two, there's two really good documentaries in the supplements. And one, 
gives us the background of what life uh, in France was like in 1938 because the atmosphere was pessimistic. There was the Munich Accords, but uh, the young men were being called up. War seemed to be imminent. Um, and and uh, when Carnet and uh, some of the actors would come <laughs> to the set in the morning, they wondered what happened to him, what happened? They were being mobilized to go off to yet another war, only 20 years after the, the World War I ended. Um, so uh, Carnet in this stretch, there's a stretch of about six films that he made from about 37 to, to maybe 44. Uh, which uh, the, uh, which are now considered classics. It really, um, and most of them co-written with Jacques Prévert. He was not. This was the one film that he was. Uh, he did not work on. He was in in the U.S. at the time. But their big hit and one of the considered one of the great classics came in the '40s, *Children of Paradise*, which he filmed in. Uh, Italian occupied Nice. I didn't. I didn't realize that Nice was occupied by the Italians and by the Italian army uh, in World War II. A massive epic movie. Uh, and Cornet, uh, after the war, it was thought that he had, his his style, his poetic realism, had gone out of fashion. There was a new optimism uh, in the post-war era. And he was thoroughly rejected by the new wave, Francois Truffaut. He was one of the cinema of quality directors that, uh, that uh, Truffaut absolutely hated. André Bazin wrote a famous article uh, criti critical of uh, Carnet's films. But they look awful good to me. <laughs> I also watched uh, Port of Shadows. I had seen that movie once before uh, and with Jean Gabin, who was uh, often the star of, of Carnet's films. And, uh, you know, uh, did, uh, did Truffaut, Truffaut make films as good as Carnet's? I'm not, I'm not so sure. I know that later years Truffaut said that he wished he could have made Children of Paradise. So maybe he softened on Carnet and, uh, as the years go, went by. Um, and uh, the, um, the, there's also a, a terrific uh, essay in here and the atmosphere in question, and this is by uh, Edward Baron Turk, and he wrote a um, he wrote a book. It's the only book in English that, that analyzes uh, uh, Carnet and his life and his films. And I sure, sure wish that the Criterion had uh, included uh, a commentary with him because this essay is fantastic. But like all film books, they're really expensive to buy. Uh, but that essay is is. Uh, you know, after you watch the film, uh, definitely uh, ch check that essay out. So, again, another another uh, uh, film in, in, in the Criterion Collection. Uh, great artwork on the cover. Um, inside's a little bit uh, tough tough to make out, is there? But you do get a little bit of sense of the uh, of the bridges, the canal, the street scene. Um, Film I'd never seen before. I never saw this one, so it was, it was, a, it was a real delight to watch it because it's a, it's a very entertaining film that I highly recommend. Okay, thanks a lot for everybody who managed to listen. I do appreciate it. Comments are welcome. Take care.